or upon hearing but a single katha or a sentence of the Mahayana Sutras. The sixth patriarch, for instance, heard this sentence. One's mind should abide nowhere and became enlightened instantly. One may be inspired, earnest, and respectful. One thinks, ah, this sutra is truly excellent. I will definitely study this sutra diligently and respect the Buddha Dharma. So praise, venerate, the Buddha Dharma is truly difficult to encounter for hundreds of and thousands of ends. So and so, for example, knows to say, the surpassed, profound, and wonderful drama is difficult to encounter in hundreds of millions of ends. Before his lectures, an indicator of his wisdom. I have been observing his words and actions. He traces away the guest dust, which is not an easy task. Give gifts and make offerings to them and respect the great free Haiko Sutras. So and so, for example, bows to the Mahayana Sutra, wonderful Dharma Flower Sutra. It is an inconceivable state to be making offerings to Mahayana Sutras. Those people will obtain great limitless and unbounded rewards, the greatest reward being future Buddhahood. If they can, without a trace of selfishness, transfer this kind of merit to all beings throughout the Dharma realm, their blessings will be beyond compare. It would be impossible to tell all of them, even so analogies. Sutra, moreover, earth star in the future, good men or women, upon encountering new Buddhist stupas, monasteries or sutras of the great Vihaiko, may give gifts and make offerings to them, gaze at them in worship, and respectfully make praises with joint palms. Upon encountering old stupas, monasteries or sutras, or those that have been destroyed or dam damaged, they may either do the repairing and rebuilding themselves or encourage others to help them. Those who help will become leaders of small nations or 30 successive lives. The donors themselves will always be well-turning kings who will use the good Dharma to teach and transform those leaders of small nations. Moreover, earth star in the future Good men or women may plant good roots in the Buddha Dharma by giving, making offerings, repairing stupas or monasteries, rebinding sutras or doing other good deeds, amounting to no more than a strand of hair, a mold of dust, a grain of sand or a drop of water. Merely by transferring the merit from such deeds to the Dharma realm, the merit and virtue that those people will create will cause them to enjoy superior and wonderful bliss for hundreds of thousands of lives. But if they dedicate the merit only to their immediate or extended families or to their own personal benefit, then the rewards received on will be only three lives of happiness. By giving up one, a ten thousand fold reward is obtained. So it is, earth star, the circumstances involved in the causes and conditions of giving are thus. Commentary Moreover, let me tell you once more, earth star bodhisattva, in the future, good men or women, upon encountering new Buddhist stupas, monasteries, or sutras of the great Vihaiko, may give gifts and make offerings to them gaze at them in worship, bow and praise the triple jewel, the Buddha, the Buddha, the Dharma and the Sangha, and respectfully make praises with joint palms. Upon encountering old stupas, monasteries, or, stu or sutras, or those that have been destroyed or damaged, they may either do the repairing and rebuilding themselves if they have the money or strength to do it alone, or encourage others to help them.
people like this and those who have will become leaders of small nations for thirty successive lives. The donors who wish to become emperors of small empires will, if they had donated to buildings, stupas, or temples. Conversely, those who have not may not have their wish to come true. People who contribute dana will always be real turning kings who will use the good dharma such as the five precepts, the ten good deeds, and others to teach and transform those leaders of small nations. Moreover, earth stop bodhisattva. In the future, good men or women may plant gurus in the Buddha Dharma by giving, making offerings, repairing stupas or monasteries, rebinding sutras, mend the sutras when they are damaged, or doing other good deeds amounting to no more than a strand of hair, a mud of dust, a grain of sand, or a drop of water. Merely by transferring the merit from such deeds to the Dharma realm, the merit and virtue that those people will create will cause them to enjoy superior and wonderful bliss for hundreds of thousands of lives. But if they dedicate their merit only to their immediate or extended families, or to their own personal benefit, then the rewards received will only three lives of happiness. By giving up one, a ten thousand fold reward is obtained. Receiving a ten thousand fold reward for giving away a penny. So it is, Earth Star Bodhisattva. You must know the circumstances involved in the causes and conditions of giving a thirst. The blessings that result are just as described earlier. The Earth Spirit protects the Dharma. Chapter 11. Commentary The Earth Spirit that is referred to in this chapter is called firm and stable. What is firm? The earth is firm. What is solid? The earth is solid. Now, we are standing on earth like ants on a great boat. The numerous ants would not make the boat rock back and forth because they do not have enough strength to do so. Earth is hanging in space the atmosphere and air are holding it in place so it will not break. It is like a great boat in the ocean. There are a great number of earth spirits. When Shakyamuni Buddha was speaking the Agama Sutra, the earth spirit, firm and stable, appeared to listen to the drama. But this earth spirit was very arrogant and haughty. He said, In the whole universe, I am the only earth spirit, and there are no other spirits. But Shakyamuni Buddha replied, You are not the only earth spirit. There are also water spirits, fire spirits, and wind spirits. This earth spirit was not pleased to hear the Buddha's answer, and said in an arrogant tone, How come there are other spirits? Everything is supported by earth. They have no right to be called spirits. Shakyamuni Buddha then talked about water spirits, fire spirits, and wind spirits. Using various means, the Buddha finally persuaded the earth spirit. He took refuge with the triple jewels and lost his haughtiness in space. There are four elemental spirits, the earth spirits, the water spirits, the fire spirits and the wind spirits. Humans are composed of the four elements. Each of these four spirits gives every individual a little bit of water, fire, wind, and earth forming a body. The word earth has two meanings. First, in terms of phenomenon, earth is the start of everything. It gives birth to all things and supports them. In terms of phenomenon, Earth has four virtues, permanence, happiness, purity, and true self. What is permanence? Systems are the door of earth which never changes. Permanence, therefore, is a virtuous quality of earth. Earth supports all things. Everything exists by the power of earth. Happiness, therefore, is a virtuous quality to earth. 
Earth can give life to all things. Things growing out of the Earth are pure and untainted. The virtue of purity, the Earth is at ease, which is a virtuous quality of the true self. The Earth spirits enjoy these four virtues. The second meaning is in terms of Naminan. When the Buddha was speaking the 11th chapter of the Earth Star Sutra, the Earth Spirit vowed to protect everyone who recites the Earth Star Bodhisattva's name, who recites the Earth Star Sutra and who enjoys good roots. This is why the chapter, this chapter is called the Dharma Protection of the Earth Spirits. Today is a very special day. Graduation day for the summer session. Time flies by so quickly. In a blink of an eye, six weeks have gone. It is impossible to turn back time and repeat these six weeks. We will have to wait until next year for another summer. Although the time remains the same, it will be a different year. We will be one year older and get one year closer to death. The numbers exist but there seems to be minimal difference between time experienced versus time to come. As our age increases by one year, our remaining years of life decreases by one year. For instance, a 40-year-old is meant to live until 80, so at the age of 39, he has 41 years left to live. One year passes. At the age of 40, he only has 40 years left to live. This is half and half. Is time not meaningless when pondered in this manner? Although some of you, your time, some of your time spent this year was very meaningful and worthwhile. Why? You have deposited Buddhist teachings into your brain, planting them into your field of eighth consciousness. Once body, body seeds are planted and body sprouts develop, we bear body fruits in the future, realizing Buddhahood. At the same time, I need to tell you, something peculiar will happen. Let us take your parents. For example, they do not bother you at all when you learn to be degenerate. They figure they will let you go free. They treat you fine. However, when you want to be good and to study Buddhism, their temper seeps out, criticizing everything about you. They ignore your taking drugs, drinking alcohol, and smoking cigarettes, figuring that you will get over it. Now that you are over it, they are upset. They say, you want to be good, then you must be filial to your parents. Let me scold you, hit you, or treat you poorly now. Are troubles heated up your way? Actually, this is a test to see whether you really want to be good. If so, the more they criticize you or hate you, the more pleased you would be. Just remember not to cry. Seeing how happy you are, their temper will disappear. Otherwise, you will be a big trouble. Treat everything as a test on whether you know how to apply the Buddha Dharma you learned. Whether you are patient, keep the precepts, give, are diligent, meditate, and are wise. If you pass these tests, you will learn about these benefits. If you fail, you will have to start over. These six weeks are gold. Keep it now that you have it. Do not lose it. You will be different from others. How? I don't mean for you to be arrogant, thinking, I'm a Buddha. I want others to bow to me. Don't put on airs. Be compassionate and patient toward everyone. Be better to someone who is not nice to you, regardless whether someone is nice to you, but your own phones and not the phones of others. Mahasattvas do not care about others. Amitabha take care, takes care of himself. You take care of yourself, okay? Today concludes the six week summer session but not the sutra lectures i do not know when i will finish the lecture series it will be done when i stop breathing every day that i breathe is every day that i propagate the drama drama propagation resumes every evening we resume the to lecturing 
on the Earth Star Sutra, at twelve thirty on Saturdays, at two shilling. The Great Compassion Dharani Sutra from twelve thirty to two thirty p.m. and the Earth Star Sutra in the evenings. I will be explaining the Earth Star Sutra tonight. I used to lecture on the Dharma Flower Sutra Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday evenings. However, since I have three chapters, including this chapter on the Earth Star Sutra, left, I would like to finish it before the Shramanera and the Shramani Narika go to Taiwan to request the precepts. Since I would not be able to finish the Dharma Flower Sutra before then, I will rush through the Earth Star Sutra before I get to the Dharma Flower Sutra next. It's not time for the Avatamsaka Sutra yet. We will need to wait on that. Thursday evening, so and so and others may lecture. In general, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday evenings are times. For you to practice lecturing on the sutras and share part of my load, don't make me do so much work, wearing me out and turning my hair gray. My hair became black not too long ago. I don't want it gray again. So let's resume our former evening lecture schedule.